been a hot minute since I've made a bucket list project video and let's just say this is a new one. About a year ago, actually no, I think it happened in November, I made a mukbang which is like I think the first video on this channel where I ate cereal with chopsticks. Last time I did it, it was with Oreo O's, this time it's gonna be with Lucky Charms um, and I thought this would be a cute little, you know, like update, what I've been up to, started 2021, that whole kind of, you know, kind of video. You know, that's, got, that's the concept. So first thing first, let's go have our first bite. I don't know how I did this before, but I think it's kind of like this. Banger. Straight banger right there. Starting 2021, had <laughs> it had its ups and downs. It wasn't always the best start of the year. On the other hand, I also started making music a lot. I'm releasing a song, I'm trying to at least, once a week, hopefully Friday, but I might mess up that schedule eventually. And so far I've been doing really good. It started with New Year New Me, which I thought was a really fun song to make, and I really like the cover art made by my friend Virginia. You can go check her out, link in the description. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's I think making music is definitely something that I want to pursue more, if not just try out for a little bit. I want to make a bucket list project video on like how I've been doing it, because I'll be dead ass. I'm looking on like free beats on YouTube and then I record off like my Apple headphones and then I throw it all in Audacity, eh, Audacity and figure out how to mix it. So it's definitely been a big experience for me and just trying things out. So what are my new goals for this year? Kinda rough. I had a big idea to make this EP called Pink Aesthetic about, I think I've had this idea for maybe about a year or so. I had it back in March, I'm pretty sure. And it was supposed to come out February 3rd of this year, but I'm not happy with the level of like production I'm doing. And I want to keep practicing before I make a big project like that. So I see it as like a mixtape or like an EP, but I really want it to be something good and I don't think I'm there yet. And so I'm going to keep working on it and hopefully by next year, February 3rd, because I really want to release it on that date, I'll have the pink aesthetic out. So we'll look forward to that. Other goals is like, I'm learning how to dance <laughs> and it's been experience. I have a friend who's really good at dance. And they got me to join my dance club for school. I feel like Chad from High School Musical 2, if he actually couldn't dance and just sang I Can't Dance uh, the entire time. So it is really hard and it's unlike any of the skills I've done before. I'm a pretty active person. Like I play basketball and volleyball and ultimate. But dance isn't like any of those, to be honest. It's so, it's such different muscle movement and muscle control that I'm just... Body, body not used to it. Body not used to doing all the stuff that he needs to do for dance. But it definitely is fun and I want to keep doing it for sure. Mm. That's good cereal. Okay, Loki, I'm gonna make a cereal tier list right here. All right. So I think S tier, Oreo O's, 100%. I think Oreos is definitely like my favorite cereal. Such a banger, such a, can't go wrong with it. Can't go wrong with it. As much as people hype up Lucky Charms, I... Maybe it's because I've gotten older, but I feel like the marshmallows aren't don't have the same, like, kadoosh that it used to have, you know? Like, I think before, when I was maybe, like, 7, this would be an S-tier cereal, but I'm feeling it's more A-tier. I think without the brown parts, wouldn't be as good as people say it is. I think Fruit Loops is a C-tier cereal. I don't think Fruit Loops are very good. I just don't see the huge enjoyment behind them. They're just kind of like juice box juice turned into like a little circle and then just thrown into milk. Like I, I don't, it's just sweet. It's too sweet, I think for me. That, that's my personal reasoning. I think Frosted Flakes is okay. It's, it's all right. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Now Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I have mixed opinions. I think I have to be in the mood to eat it. Cause it's so sweet and it's so cinnamony that like if I'm not in the mood, just doesn't work out but when i am in the mood it's like an eighth year cereal i think overall 
pretty good. So I'm gonna give it like an A tier, but I think like in my mind it's more like a B tier, but that's just me. I know that's a really hot take. The last bucket list project video was November, I'm pretty sure, with the soft boy aesthetic. Still going on with that. Oh, those aesthetics really comfy, and I think it definitely matches my personality more than whatever I was wearing in the past. So, I really like the aesthetic, and I find I'm still kind of warm during winter, and I haven't gotten sick, which is big, because it's COVID, so like, good that I'm not getting sick. I think the end of 2020 was such a long year for me. I've had like relationships come and go. I've met people. I stopped talking to people. I think right now, eh, right now is okay. I think my current position like January going into February in two days because I'm filming this on the 29th. It's okay. I've, I've had better days, but I definitely think that right now it's just, it's difficult. Not to get sad or anything, but like, a big like support beam in my life i do not have anymore to, to say it simply they didn't didn't die or anything but they just heart got off that's okay you know they got their own things to do and i will do my own things too i'm just a little unfortunate i'm definitely a big worrier and i stress out really easily and i find during like late nights like when i'm doing school work at like one in the morning two in the morning i definitely have a lot of like those angry thoughts that come into my brain and just kind of yell at me for a little bit. I have a hard time drowning them out. I used to just listen to music, but now all my music just is connected to a person. So now that person comes in my head and so much thinking. So a lot of times I have to like call friends just so that they can kind of distract me from, from feeling like poop. I think over like the last two weeks, I've really become more appreciative. Of like all my friends were just like, you're okay. Everything's okay. And they'll like, they don't call with me and keep me company and make sure I don't get like super sad before I fall asleep and all that kind of stuff. So again, I'm super appreciative of all of them. They're so nice. The new ones and the old. Friends are, friends are sick. Friends are awesome. <laughs> I have a take on Valentine's Day. I think Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday. I know a lot of people don't like it because you should only care and like show your affection for someone one day of the year and all that. But I don't think that's the case. I don't, okay. I'm gonna say right now, and I'm gonna say I'm a really cheesy person. I love to give compliments to people and be goofy, you know, do that kind of stuff. And yes, I've been told by a lot of people that I have a very just simp in nature. Like just, I'm naturally very simpy. And nothing wrong with that. I think I've just come to take it as it is in the easiest way possible. But the nice thing about Valentine's for me is that it kind of just normalizes it. For one day of the year, I can be as simp as I can. And that's not like a bad thing. Cause I can just, I can just say, oh, I'm going with the holiday. I think that definitely goes into like, you know, like soft boy personality. And I know a lot of people are like, ah, you know, I don't like it. But I really like the concept behind it. Funny enough, I haven't had a good Valentine's Day in like the last four years. But besides that, I still my favorite. Maybe it's the way it's portrayed in media that I just think it's really cute. But yeah, that's just how I see things. God, this video is so aimless. I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this later. Future Makai is gonna cry. He's gonna cry figuring out how to edit. Something I'm really excited about that happened yesterday is a corpse song, Agoraphobic. I'll probably play a clip right. I can't do shit right, I can't learn my lesson I can't do shit right, took any depressants Illness and welfare rob my adolescence My friends probably hate me, can't answer a message I really like that song And he recently put it on like all streaming platforms Including Spotify And I have never put a song in like three of my playlists so quickly I saw the announcement on his YouTube Because he like posted about it And I was like oh, I hit like the biggest poggers of my life and I just like went on Spotify, searched it up corpse and just added it so damn fast. I think I played League from like 1 to like 5 a.m. And that was the only song I had on loop. I listened to that one song for like four hours straight on repeat because it was a straight banger. It was a straight banger. I have, I have nothing else to say. That song goes so hard for no apparent reason. I want to say thank you to all the people who have been with me so March when I released One More I Love You. I don't really take YouTube too, yeah, too seriously, but I do appreciate it when I have views. It's just, you know, hit, hit a little serotonin when I'm like, ooh, someone, someone watched my video, ooh, I got a like, ooh, I got a comment. <laughs> I think it's really nice, shout out to like, you know, my friend Megan, Charlene, just support my videos and like watch it. 
And I never expected to be a big YouTuber, and I don't think I really am. I have like, what, 49 subs or something like that? But I really like making content, even if it, a lot of it is just for myself. Even if I know it's not, you know, the best well-crafted video, I always like to watch my stuff and like, remember what I was like during that time. Even watching the first bucket list video, bucket list project video to like, the most recent one, what I was like, <laughs> who I was, it's so different now. I think that's kind of crazy. It shows, shows growth, you know? I don't really... Actually, I do that a lot, but I don't know. It's always nice to just kind of see it again. And this is the part where I'd be like, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash that bell, do all that stuff. But just thank you for watching. Um, hopefully, I'll start making more like bucket list projects videos in the future because of quarantine restrictions, especially where I live, have definitely gone a lot more strict. I can't really like hang out with friends to make videos that I've been planning to make. We're gonna wait on that for a little bit, and it also is in the middle of winter, where I can't really go out and do all the fun stuff I like to do. But in the meantime, look out for more music coming out eventually. I maybe, maybe I'll make like a small EP that might be in the work I'm trying to figure out what like the concept will be. Think of uh, Not A Love Story by Rob Curley. Here's to a good 2021. No more... Actually, you know what? No. I'm ready for all the mistakes and failures. I'm excited for it. That's gonna just help me learn more things, and that's okay. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you all soon.